Hello and welcome back to my blog. Um, Jane and I have been to the NEC in Birmingham today and uh, first of all I'm just going to show you what Jane bought. As you know if you've watched the other vlogs previous days to this that uh, we spent a lot of money. She comes over from Jersey and um, she has to make do with taking as much back as she can because obviously she gets more choice on the mainland and it's probably sometimes a little bit cheaper. Um, right, so uh, we went to the NEC to the Creative Craft um, show and we saw Debbie Shaw and we met uh, Jenny Raymond who did, we sat and watched her little show that she does for 20, 25 minutes. Very, very entertaining, very good. Anyway, we went on the Ho Chanda. Uh, TV store and uh, Jane entered the raffle and she won this and it's uh, what you put in um, to make cards you put it in paper crafts and then this one is to make these little baskets uh, she's, me and Jane have got Civex and then she's going to have a go at putting it in there or she's going to indeed give it to a friend who's got the big ones over, over in Jersey um, she also bought on another store um, alphabets from A to Z and uh, you can either draw through these or um, you can pounce them and then do it with your sewing, uh, with sewing or things like this either by machine or hand so she bought that for herself um, there was absolutely there was quite a few stores there and uh, there was all sorts of different um, dimensions of different crafts uh, that would have suited everybody whether it was sewing, embroidery, cross stitch, knitting, um, dolls houses, uh, there was people selling uh, chocolate and nougat and fudge um, they had also they had bar with foods and drinks and things and ice cream that you could buy as well and uh, so that's what, uh, so we had a, a lovely time. Right now I don't know how much Jane's bought of these, but it's just to show you a few more than what she did buy. Again, for the, if you know, from the other blogs, uh, she's making lots of um, uh, projects to do with um, either agriculture or the sea or the sun. So she'll, she's got lots of things that represent either uh, fornage and foliage and clouds and things like that or trees she can uh, pussy cut trees and things there you go and she can put them in pictures there's one with clouds uh, there you go that's that one and here and she, she made uh, she's got seagulls in two colours that could be flying around on her pictures uh, and then she's got different ones. Now they're all. She's got, she's got to get quite a few done by February. She's got a friend's 40th wedding anniversary. She's got to get things done for. So I think she's took a lot on. Um, there's a nice bright one. Uh, sunsets and yachts. And these ones, uh, the majority of fat quarters, and then she's got the odd half meters. And I think she's either got a meter or two meters of these. I think they're meters. And that's those ones and they're all designed to sort of like some of them to match or to represent either the sea or the sand or the water so anyway that's Jane's little haul that she did today uh, and she's got to try and get everything in her case because she's even though Jersey is sort of like affiliated with the UK then uh, she still has a luggage um, allowance that she has to adhere to so at the moment once she gets these back she's going to fill it and see how much she's got so then I'll do mine Uh, it's for me and I've got to it as I explained before and this is the one I bought with the heart. Uh, so I shall enjoy when I make some cards, put a few of those on. That's that business. And also I bought an applique mat and that was off one of the stores. Applique mat and it was £7.15 and it's pink and my favourite colours. 
and um, I wanted them for a long time, so that was a good buy. I'm, I'm pleased I bought that and saw that. Like, you don't always see things in garage shops because there's so much, but I just happened to hear them and I'm talking to another lady about it. Um, fat quarters were a good price on one or two of the stalls. Uh, usually you buy fat quarters for anything for £2.50 up to £4 or um, everywhere else, but this one was £1.50, 22 times 80 in a proper size fat quarter. So I bought a few, just so I've got a few pieces of cotton in my stash for when I want to do something. And there's the colours, some of the colours that I bought. There we go. Greens, purples, I love the light, uh, this one, this, I love these sort of colours. Uh, and there's one there, Christmas, you've got baubles on. Um, now, can you remember the other day when I did a vlog, I said I bought this Swan Island uh, quilt pattern and I absolutely love the swans on it. Right, this is going to be my background fabric. Uh, in the grey and as you can see it's got a silver now I'm not sure if you are picking it up but uh, it's got a silver glint to it as well as being grey mottled and white uh, spots on it beautiful piece of fabric lovely cloth and this and it's silver is going to be for this one's wings now I'll try and move that around a bit just so you can catch all the glinting of the silver thread that's absolutely beautiful and I think that would be brilliant for the wings. As you can see, the swan's body is what I mean. So if you look at the swan's body, that will be in the white with all the silver bits and the background will be in grey with the spots. So hopefully then that will push the plain, or plainish swans forward and all the greens and everything will show on the wings. So that's that bit. Uh, I've got some orange for the beaks and then because the tips of the wings are different colours if you can see there look they're all different colours at the moment I shall need some more probably so I've only got size full to me I've got this shiny fabric and I've got four colours at the moment pale green, pale pink, pale lavender and a deeper purple maybe I'll turn it over that way you'll see there you go So they're the ones, the ones I've got so far, and I've got some black in this back, because there is a black swan in the middle there, I do want to go, and they've got black, black uh, above the beaks, just on the forehead. Um, right, so that's that business, so I've mani nearly managed to get all my quilt together to start, but I won't be starting that yet because I've got tops and things to make. Um, this one um, I got from another store. And it's uh, like a rayon, um, like a cotton lawn or uh, like a rayon. There's no stretch to it, but it's really floaty. It's good quality. I love the fabric colours and the choices on it. Let's just turn it on that way so you can see. I'll bring it through. There you go. And it's flowers, pinks, blues, greens with a black background. Um, and that is for one of these tacks. I really, really, really like these tacks. And this is the first one I've made which I've put, been putting this in my uh, main June makes shortly because I've made a few other things as well um, so I'll be making a top out of that well that's it um, me and Jane now uh, Jane and I have now finished shopping uh, she goes back on Monday uh, tomorrow she's spending a day with uh, her other sister and uh, tonight we're just going to chill it's absolutely roasting in this country today and inside my indoor monitor which is up there on that wall says at six o'clock 20 past six at night 25 degrees it's unheard of in this country usually it's cool by now uh, the sun's still shining outside it's got to be 35 going up to 40 in places in this country today it's ridiculous to go from one thing to another but it stayed dry. So Jane and I, uh, to enjoy this is half past. This is my holiday, and she's timed it well and come over. And uh, we're spending a few days together uh, doing that. Uh, both of us have got the hobby of sewing, quilting, and other things. And uh, we, I've really enjoyed the company. It's been good fun. 
I hope she's got she's gone back with lots and lots and lots of fabric so I'm hoping that uh, she shows us if she does show us uh, what she's done with these things then I'll uh, I'll do a show and tell um, or she sends me photographs and I'll put them up on it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you jo enjoyed the uh, Birmingham NEC uh, with Jenny. Um, I saw Debbie and uh, we spoke to Jenny. Um, I'm not going to tell you what she did in the end. <laughs> you have to go to one of these shows to see what she does. Basically, she just drips up. <laughs> She's such a funny lady. Thank you very much. I've really enjoyed your company. Thank you. Bye bye.